Hi, Rick Bentley, CEO of Cloud Instructure. Today we're going to talk about access control and video surveillance in the cloud model that we built, why this model is important. I'm going to start with cameras and then move on to doors. Doors will be really fast at the end, don't worry. Legacy systems have cameras on site. They go to some kind of recorder, typically a network video recorder. So it's on monitor, keyboard, and mouse. They might be analog cameras with a video server in between. But basically, all that we get here, the recordings are here. And if you are off-site, and once you have two, more than two locations, you're typically off-site any one of them, you log in through the internet to access this. Here is the hole in your firewall, port forwarding your router, that allows you to do that. There's several problems with this model. First of all, it's physically insecure. Building blows up or burns down, all the recordings are gone. Second, as I just mentioned, this is now publicly available on the, on the internet. So every board kid in China can try and see if you have the latest SQL injection exploit or whatever else covered in the software that's running here. Um, installation mains is difficult. This needs to ship with a fixed IP. Uh, the aforementioned network configurations, or you can try and do some sort of corporate uh, VPN WAN uh, configuration, which is no fun for anybody. And it scales terribly. Every time you add more cameras somewhere, you have to add another NVR which is another Windows machine you have to support, and all these databases are separate. So you have 27 locations, adding a user credential, whatever, on one, adding one user to your corporation means touching 27 different systems. So this model is not any good. No one has been able to change it before us, and so we did. And now here's how it works. We put a CVR on site, it's cloud video recorder, no monitor, no keyboard, no mouse. No one logs into it even remotely. It uploads to us. And all the recordings and database info and everything else is stored here. And user logs in there to manage and access the system. So it just got physically secure. Building blows up or burns down. All the recordings off site. You see who did it and what happened. It's now network secure. This is the firewall with no holes in it. No inbound connections are supported whatsoever. Uh, it's just an HTTPS tunnel out to us, just as if you open up your notebook and log into eTray or eSchwab or Gmail or whatever. Installation maintenance just got a lot easier. This is DHCP. <clears throat> There's no requirements for the network. And if it needs to be updated, it phones home to the mothership and we update it, manage it remotely. Scale's great. Add more cameras, add more CVRs. They all phone home or auto maintained here and you have one place to go to manage everything. You want to add someone to the system, you make the change here, these all get the updates, and he's added without touching 27 locations. Doors work just the same way. Doors have, here's our door. You have a card reader. Uh, we work with any reader on the market. You have a switch, those are doors open or closed. You have some sort of mechanism, could be a strike plate, could be electrified handle, could be a mag lock with a glass door, double door, electric door, whatever. Sometimes you have a Rex, which is just a motion detector on the inside to help with force entry. Our cloud door controller here talks to all these things with the right number of dry contacts. Four for the Rex, two for the switch, two for the latch, and six for the reader. <coughs> but then it's elegantly on the LAN, phone's home, you can manage all your systems, all your access credentials, everything else, users, card keys, whatever, from one stop shop. Now, with this cloud model, you can use a cell phone, access the cloud to unlock doors and do things like that that you can't do if you're trying to serve this up from a, uh, cloud, from a door controller on the network behind the firewall. 